Good evening. This morning I had a encounter that I wanted to share with you. Um, it was very powerful, very powerful. And I was waking up and I had um, my usual got my cup of coffee and I went back into bed. I'm trying to wake up and um, I get a vision from the Lord and it's like he tells me to teach people that happiness does not come from the outside there's nothing you can do that is going to make you happy on earth there is no money there is no alcohol there's not addiction there's nothing like that there is only him who makes us happy so in my previous um, last night I had a session I love you too Rebecca where I was teaching people um, a lot of theology but we spoke about a video that I was doing where I was praying for someone and it was as though a stream of water was going from my stomach from my belly and I at that time, I, I don't know what it was. This was years ago. And um, now I know. It is the streams of living water on the throne. Hi, Francesco. And, but it was, I need you to, to understand, this was so powerful. I have never experienced something like that before that. It was like, this may sound weird, so sorry for the graphics but when you get really sick like you have food poisoning and it's coming out and you can't help it you can't stop it that was how it was when I looked at Ezekiel 47 it speaks about the streams of living water coming from the temple which is us okay and the stream gets 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 uh, more powerful more bigger and uh, more mighty so that no, no one can even stand in those streams anymore. Now, I have this video. It's one of my most videos, most watched videos on, on YouTube. It's waiting on the Lord. And many people have a problem with that because they think it's, you know, when we sit still and wait, it's new age. But the Lord has spoken to me and said to me, you need to get aware people need to get aware of who he is his power and his might and if you don't sit still and listen and wait you're not going to get it you're just not going to get it and then my mind went to the stream of living water what he was talking about now i want you to read this with me this is amazing it's about the woman at the well and the woman at the well um, was waiting and Jesus came you know Jesus was there as well and he started speaking to her and asking her if she can give him a drink and she said well you're a Jew you don't talk to a Samaritan I said to her if you knew the gift of God that's speaking to you <laughs> you would ask me for the water you see he was speaking spiritual and she was speaking physical when Jesus is rebuking anyone on earth, mostly of, you know, most of the time, he wasn't speaking to the person. He was speaking to the spirit behind the person. So here Jesus is speaking and saying, if you knew who I was, you would ask me the streams of living water. And so this goes on and she, she still doesn't get it. And he says, you, you know, you are, you've had five husbands. The one that you're staying with is not even your husband. And she said, well, you're a prophet. You see how Jesus spoke. He said, you are looking for the physical stuff. You're going from man to man. Bring it. I am the love of your life. And I am the streams that will make you happy. You can't, whatever you do in your life, you cannot take something from the outside that will make you happy. The happiness is here, it's inside, it's the streams of living water that comes from the throne room. And how to get that, I'll still teach on people who don't know how to get to that. But 
um, think about it. Jesus makes it very clear. He's always speaking to what's inside is going to come out. When he was spoken to the Pharisees, he said to them, you are whitely painted tombs. You're white painted tombstones. Meaning you look beautiful from the outside, but you rotten bodies on the inside. Jesus was concerned with what's going on inside of you because the gospel is a person. It's not a story. It's a person who stepped into time and space and became one of us. It's the person of Jesus Christ who has reconciled us to him so that we will never be alone. And he comforts us and he loves us and he is our joy. This is where the streams of living water come from. He is our joy. He is perfection. And He's good. And He is inside. You know, there's very many theology we can get, but something shocking I want you to go read. Where John speaks about John 1. And he says, The light is walking in the darkness, but it shines in the darkness. The darkness doesn't stop it from shining. The light is always shining. There are many false lights which can be stopped by the darkness. But the capital L light is shining on you, through you. There's nothing that can stop you from shining. And then when you go to verse 9, it says that this light was given to every man every person born in the world every single person born in the world has the love of the creator in his dna so i encourage you today to seek him on the inside he's not on he's not somewhere in a in a song he's not somewhere in a in a church he's inside holding your very heart together yeah, bless you. This is such a wonderful message. Such a wonderful message. I was um, I was listening to this message as he was talking, and the glory was so much that I I couldn't even get a pen to write down what was said because I was like led, and he was talking and saying. We shouldn't be, we shouldn't be satisfied with things coming from the outside because it all goes to dust, but he's the one who always stands and he's our joy and our perfection and may you be healed. And you know what? Today with this whole space, SpaceX thing where they go up in the air and I was dancing with my baby girl and I was holding her tight. And I was saying, this is the best present ever. I have no, I don't want to, <laughs> like, I don't even want to leave my house. Um, but, uh, you know what, the best present is may his favor shine upon you and your children's children and your children's children and for generations to come. May he be glorified. In Jesus name I speak healing over you wherever you have pain wherever your heart is in agony wherever you have trauma in any way wherever you are tormented I speak healing over you and the light of Christ may he embrace you wherever you are and find him in his truth because he's good God bless you bye bye